Hi, and in today's Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a quick and simple poster in Word. So the first thing to do is to change the background colour. So let's go up to Insert, Shapes, click on the drop down and select this square shape. Go up to the top left hand corner of your document, click and drag out a rectangle to cover your page. It doesn't matter if it goes over the edges. The next thing we're going to do is to change the colour of this rectangle. So we're going to go up to Shape Format, along to Format Pane. And here we have our customization menu. Make sure you're on this bucket icon and go down to Fill. Once you're on Solid Fill, go down to the colour options here. Just drag this out. And then you can select from a number of different colours. So I've got recent colours here for pink, but if the colour of your choice isn't here, go down to More Colours. Your colour wheel will appear, and you can move this cursor anywhere around your colour wheel to select any particular colour. You can also use this slider to brighten or darken the colour of your choice. I just use this selection here and I went down to this pink colour here and then I just click OK. Once I've got my background colour I'm going to include some additional graphics so I'm going to go up to insert, shapes, click on the drop down, select the rectangle again then I'm just going to click and drag out a rectangle. For this particular rectangle I need a gradient so again make sure I've selected the rectangle go up to shape format and go over to the customization menu. On the fill drop down you'll see gradient fill click on gradient fill and as you can see I've rehearsed this and I've selected these colors previously. So you've got your gradient slider here with two markers which you can fully adjust and customize. Now in order to change the color of your gradient if you select a marker and you can see there's an orange outline around this marker go down to color and then select a color of your choice. I've selected my original pink colour because I want it to blend in with my background and then I've selected black over on this side here from the colour options. You can then move this along your slider and as you can see that will change the gradient. It will change it to more black if I move it to the left or less black by moving it to the right. I can also do the same with the pink if I want to increase the amount of pink or decrease. So I'm going to move it to around about here. Now the other tools within here will decide where your gradient will lie. So you can fully customize it by using any of these options. Make sure you're on linear for this particular gradient and you can change the direction of your gradient. So for this one you can see I've selected this gradient here because I've got black at the bottom and pink at the top. So once I'm happy with that, I can move this around anywhere in my document, but I'm going to leave it at the bottom here. Then I'm just going to copy and paste it. Now obviously you've got several ways to do that. You can Command or Control C, Command or Control V, and that will copy and paste it. Or of course you can go up to the Home menu, press the Copy icon, and then just click paste. So we copy, paste, and we've produced another rectangle. The third and simplest way is to hold down your Alt key on your keyboard, wait till your cursor changes, click and drag. Now, as you can see, we've got an outline around our rectangle, which we don't want. So if we just delete this rectangle, let's customize this rectangle and take that outline away select the rectangle and go back over to the customization menu on the right hand side. Go down to line or border, this is your border around your shape and click no line. And When we click off the rectangle you can see the line has gone away. So click on your 
shape again, hold down the Alt key, click and drag. And now all I'm going to do is rotate this shape. Let's just click off and back on to select the one shape. Go up to the top here where there's this circular arrow. Hold down your shift key so that the rectangle moves around in increments. And then just reverse that re rectangle and place it at the top. Perfect. Next thing we need to do is to create a rectangle across the bottom here. So again, go up to Insert, Shapes, Rectangle. Click and drag out a rectangle to go across the bottom here. And once again, we'll go over to the Customization menu. We'll select a black color. And we'll go down to Line and select No Line. Perfect. Now we need some graphics or the splat graphics that we saw earlier. So for this, you need to just hop onto Google and just type in Pixabay and you'll come to this website here called Pixabay and all the images and vectors and illustrations are free on this website. So now I'm going to type in Paint Splat, go down to the drop down and select vector graphics. As you can see, there are a number of different options that you can choose from. So I downloaded this particular splat here and this one here. So if I click on it, it will take you to another menu and then you just select the free download here. So once you've downloaded your artwork, go back to your project, go to the insert tab, go to pictures, click on the drop down and select picture from file. Go to your downloads file and you'll find them in your downloads file. Here's the two that I've selected at the top. Let's select this first one. Click insert. If this happens to you where your picture's inserted and you can't see it, don't panic. Don't click off it. Make sure it's selected. Right click on it. Go down to wrap text and then click in front of text. And then your artwork will appear. Here you can fully customize it by rotating it, enlarging it and moving it around to wherever you want it. Now the great thing about these graphics is I can now duplicate this one, hold down my Alt key, click and drag. Both of them are selected at the moment so I'm going to click away from them and then select the second one. Then I'm going to move the second one and then just reduce the size of it. And then again I can rotate this one and use it in a slightly different way just to add to that other graphic. Once I'm happy with that I can go back up to the insert tab, go to pictures again, select picture from file and then select my other graphic here and click insert. Again it's gone behind so I've just got to right click. Okay if this does happen to you try to click on the background here, go to shape format, go to send backwards, click on the drop down and select send to back. Okay if that doesn't work Click on the background, move it, and then you can see the colour splats are just at the back there. Try and get hold of them. If you have to move something out of the way, we'll move that one out of the way. There we go. Right, if you find you can't move it, right click, go down to wrap text, and select in front of text. And now you can grab hold of it and move it. So we're going to move it out of the way for a minute. Then we're going to click on our background, we're going to move our background back up, there we go, and you can see now backgrounds behind and this colour splats in front here. So once again we can play around with this, rotate it, duplicate it, change the size of it, and then again we can go on to these graphics and move them around again. 
So sometimes these graphics get hidden, but all you need to do is just move some graphics out of the way and then eventually you'll click on the right one. Can be a little bit frustrating, but of course this isn't Photoshop, this is Word. So once you're happy, let's go ahead and insert some text. So I'm going to go up to the Insert tab, along to Text Box, click on the drop down and select Draw Text Box. And then I'm just going to click and drag. All text boxes by default have a white background and a black border, so we need to get rid of both of those. So select the text box, make sure you're on shape format, go to shape fill, click on the drop down and select no fill, and then select the outline icon, click on the drop down and select no outline. Now once we type in here, our text will be black and therefore invisible. So if we go up to the Home tab and we go along to Font Colour and then I'm going to select White. You can select Pink or whichever colour you choose but I'm going to select White and then I'm going to insert my text. To customise my text I'm just going to select it. I can do that by clicking and dragging or selecting Command or Control A. Then I go up to the Home tab and use this section here to customise my text. So I'm going to change the font, I'm going to change that to Avenir, and I'm going to increase the font size using increase font size icons. So increase the font size. I'm going to make it bold as well to let it stand out. And I think that's about right. So now all we're going to do is just move this text to exactly where we want it. Perfect, so I want similar text here, so instead of going through the whole customization of the text box, once again I'm going to hold my Alt key down, I'm just going to click and drag and duplicate that text box. Then I'm just going to click away from it because it had the two selected, double click inside, highlight the text, and then I'm just going to type some different text. Once again, I'm going to customize this, Command or Control A by selecting the text, go up to the Home tab, increase the font size. Let's go up to 80. Actually, no, it goes to 75. That's about right. And then let's just move this to where we want it. Now, if you want to ensure that this text is in the center of this rectangle here, and make sure that this is in the center. So, so double click inside the text box, make sure you're on the Home tab, and go along to this center text icon here. That will put your text in the center of your text box. Then hold the Command or Control key down and select the rectangle, one we placed and the one that we want it to be centered to. Then go up to Shape Format, go along to Align, and down to align to center and that will align this text here to the center of this rectangle. This one here you can just eyeball it and move it to wherever you want to. You can line it up with the text underneath, or you can line it up with the edge of that rectangle. It's completely up to you. So I'm just going to move this text up by move using my arrow keys. And then I'm going to copy and paste again this text box so I can put some additional text here. Again, click off that, click back on, double click inside. I'm going to reduce the size of this text now by using the decrease font size tool. And then all I have to do is input the text I want. And the great thing about these text boxes is how flexible they are and versatile. We can move that text anywhere we want to within our poster. So I'm just going to pop it down here until I think it looks right. Perfect. Now there's lots of additional things that you can do with this design. You can, for example, go onto this draw tab across the top here and then you can select some of these pen tools. Let's say, for example, we select this one 
click on the drop down and you can select the size of the pen and you can also select the colour. Don't forget you can also go down to more colours where you have obviously have your colour wheel options. So let's just say I selected this green. So let's just increase the size of the nib of our pen. Then we can make additional marks on here. Additional splat marks, you don't have to be too accurate. And you can do this with lots of different colours. Completely your choice. You can of course just go ahead and change the colour. So let's choose a yellow. Let's change the size. And then again, we can just go and make some little marks. So there's our finished poster. I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.